I want to talk a little bit about uh, Clinton right now, Hillary Clinton. There's a lot of articles that were on the Drudge Report about Hillary Clinton. Let's take a look at some of these headlines. FBI looking into the security of Hillary Clinton's private email setup. So now the FBI is taking a look at it. Don't know if there's going to be any criminal investigation, nevertheless, because we've seen the IRS getting away with this. The IRS can go to Congress and they can lie about how the hard disks were destroyed. They can lie about how they had no backups. And then we can find out that they actually had a parallel texting system that they had put in. Look, these are the people who are consuming the massive intelligence of the, that, is, that is being sucked up about the American people. They are the consumers. They very well know what the surveillance state is about. They're reading all of this stuff. So when they start doing things that are illegal, when they start doing things that uh, they know they can get in trouble with, but maybe with somebody, if somebody ever gets in charge that actually cares what the law is anymore, nevertheless, they want to try to hide this up. They don't want to have any culpability. So when they know that they're going to do something illegal, these people who know what the surveillance state is, these people who are the consumers of the surveillance state, they set up their parallel systems, whether it's the IRS setting up their parallel texting system or whether it's Hillary Clinton setting up her parallel private email security system. They're doing this deliberately. You know, Carly Fiorina, in the, uh, when they went to this Saturday to talk to the Koch brothers, we, it was a private meeting, but we heard some of the comments were leaked out, and she had one of the best jokes at that. She said Clinton was so technologically backward that she had chosen a couple of Secret Service agents to guard her, uh, her servers. No, she's not, she's not ignorant. She's just criminal. She's criminal. She knows because she's a consumer of this dragnet surveillance. She's one of these people. She knows exactly what's going on with this. And, of course, it's not just questions about that server, but it's also questions about her close aide, Huma Abedin, who was not only involved now with these emails, but we also see there's other questions surfacing about Huma. She was paid, uh, given a $33,000 payout from the State Department for unused leave. She's using her simultaneous employment inside and outside of the government to deliver favors to Clinton cronies, say some people who are alleging that she's been doing this since 2008. They say that uh, Ms. Abedin and Ms. Mills used private email accounts for official business, just like their boss, whose secretive email set up with private accounts hosted on a server in Mrs. Clinton's home in New York has raised questions about her skirting, yeah, skirting, open, <laughs> the pants skirt, the pantsuit lady is skirting open record laws and mishandling classified information. They say Huma planned a party for Clinton Powell's on the taxpayer dime. This is New York Post. They say that, uh, and here's some of the emails that they found. She says, I have the packet with the floor, the Pantone color options, and the floor plan. My bigger problem right now is I can't even get into my Clinton email, and I wanted to print all the latest documents to go through line by line with Oscar. Whatever. De La Renta designed both Abedin and Clinton's Chelsea Clinton's wedding dresses. Uh, these are the elitist, crony capitalists that run our government, the criminals, okay? This would be called corruption in any other time, in any other country. Now it's called standard operating procedure. They say an internal State Department probe recently found that Abedin got paid with taxpayer funds for days that she was working with the Clinton Foundation and while she was vacationing in Europe with her hubby, Anthony the Wiener. The State Department has asked her to repay the money, but she is contesting the findings. Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley wrote the State Department demanding more information about her quote-unquote special government employee status. That says that she is somebody with very unique skills that can hold three jobs from the government simultaneously and also get paid off in the private sector as well. Now, Hillary Clinton is seeing all this stuff. And of course, how do we, how does she portray herself as one of the people? You know, she talked about how after, after coming out of the White House, she and Bill were just so incredibly poor. You know, these people who had nothing and became multimillionaires off the political process, they were just, you know, abjectly poor. Nobody was buying it. Nobody is buying all of this stuff. As I've mentioned before, The Onion is running articles making fun of her arrogance, talking about how the FEC has put her on three weeks probation where she's not allowed to campaign because they caught her spitting on campaign volunteers. <laughs> she wants to reinvent herself to change her image because this is all about identity politics, folks. You're not going to get any difference between 
the policies of Hillary Clinton and the policies of Jeb Bush. That's it for the show tonight. Thank you all for joining us. We'll see you here again Monday at 7 p.m. Central.